trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, character, and boss in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is Super the Thinker, Will Hughes. Hi, Gary. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm a statue. I was carved by Super the Rodan. Oh, I thought it was Balzac who solved that one, carved that one. Oh, is, I, I, Gary, I didn't know where you were going. I was willing to play in the space. I'm a yes and kind of person. I think there's, I have a reputation for attacking you every time on the show that you say anything even remotely stupid, but I'm on board. I just want to know, I spent this entire world thinking that Balzac sculpted that, but Balzac did something else. Is, I don't think Balzac's a sculptor, bud. No, Rodan also sculpted Monument to Balzac. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, Monument to Balzac. It's Which like, is very funny. Like that's a very funny name for a sculpture. Yeah. So that's that's where I was going, but I didn't I didn't land it. Yeah. yeah. So Gary, you know, I've had people uh, send me in uh, suggestions for the Everything to Guppy Best of slash Sampler TM the McElroy Brothers. Um, yeah. Do and, you think this is going to be in there? Is yeah, that uh, everyone? Because oh, a really some fucker good did send sculpture uh, mix up. Some fucker did send in uh, the Twisler. The Twisler. So. Yeah. Well, the Twisler is fucking. Well, he explicitly told them not so to send us the Twisler. <laughs> The uh yeah, but he's so pernicious, the little Twisler. But they but the clips in question do fall into exactly two categories. And they are either okay. Will and Gary make a song until Gary gets tired. Okay. <laughs> or Do I get tired or do I just uh You explicitly get out run out of breath. Okay. That sounds like me. Uh or Will gets extremely mad at Gary for saying something like super clock. Super clock, uh, I maintain, makes a lot of sense. Someone also submitted the marbling conversation. <laughs> the marbling conversation's good. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not funny. I'm saying it's of a piece. It is of a piece. Uh, this one will take its place among the break, uh, among the greats. I've been really thinking, if I, if, am I too mean to Gary on this show? So I'm really trying to modulate that this week. I, I appreciate that. So, I, so you can I, say a dumb fucking thing about a novelist <laughs> who you think is a sculptor. And that's good. Well, Balzac's the novelist. Rodin's the sculptor who sculpted. So Rodin the, the is an enemy of Godzilla, sense. except when they're friends. Rodin, then. <laughs> or however you say his name. That's the guy from the Beethoven movies. Oh, okay. Josh Rodin. <laughs> Josh Rodin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Beethoven is a handful. Um, yeah. What? I, that was my Josh oh, Rodin impersonation. Okay. I think that's right. <laughs> that was your Josh Groban impression, which was you saying a thing Charles Grodin might say, but with the cadence of Rodan the thinker. <laughs> yep, you can't be mean to me. No, um, no, I think all of this is good. Yeah, it's very good. I like you I've, and support you. I've been being mean later lately too. I realized in the last episode that uh Hamilton dig that was out of nowhere was mean too, but it's because I was trying to think of something that you did that would hurt you, like you making fun of my band. Yeah. And I can only do something that was proxy. Yeah, but I don't like Hamilton that much. You love Hamilton. What are you talking about? It's fine. When did that happen? Gary, I'm a human being. Like, I, like I'll like like something for a while, and then it will fade. Wow. I'm, Gary, the, the problem here is that in my head, or in your head, mm-hmm. I'm just kind of a scarecrow with bad opinions pinned to it. <laughs> When out here, I'm a person. <laughs> That's not true. You just have to update me on those opinions. Okay. Like, send me a text in the middle of the night that's like, hey, bro, don't like Hamilton that much anymore. And I'll just look at it and go back to bed. I've gone from thinking it's an A minus to a solid B. Yeah. I, I just, you got to keep me updated, man. Start a blog. So I write for a blog. <laughs> we'll talk about your Hamilton opinions more often on the I'll blog. I'll get yelled at. Also, <laughs> Lynn is very nice. Ah, uh, yeah, but he's troubling. He's, he's got some. One some... time he sent a note via proxy to me that he really liked my Wario piece. Well, that's very nice. In that case, I take it all back. And the Wario piece is good. The Wario piece is good. In general, in general, I like your creative work. That's why I couldn't make fun of your creative work and I had to reach out to something I didn't like. Yeah, Gary, I love in your creative work. I just don't like your music. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 See, there's two very innocent and good people who you're hitting in the splash with that. If it was just me, it would be fine. I know. It's Law Dog and Drums. Law Dog and Drums are incredibly nice people. Hey, I like They're their really parts. Good. Okay, see, that that's, you got to specify that. Yeah, no, I think the drumming on a Modred song is fantastic, and I love the guitar. Perfect. That's yeah. all we needed. That's all I needed. Now, let it rip. It's just the keys and the vocals that I think are letting the guys down. Half the vocals. What? Half the vocals, because Andrew sings the other half. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
That's that's what it is. I was listening to a Modric song like people do, and I was no, really won't. sitting here like, man, why do only half these words make me angry? Yeah, no, that's fine. You can you can lay into me. I'm strong. I can take it. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think you can hurt me worse than my family and upbringing did? You cannot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got poor in my brain forever, buddy. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I couldn't go to college because of my parents. I threw. Like, I had to I throw had to my go. pee out the door. I window. Window. I wish it was the door. The door was for rich kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, but the second you lay your hands on Andrew, sweet innocent Andrew, who I should remind you is the partner of your landlord. Yeah. So you should watch out with that shit, man. You're going to get your rent raised if you keep talking shit about Modridge. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got power. Yeah, Gary, it's a Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, this is nothing. It's pretty nothing. If you, there's uh, So with this, uh, very quickly, uh, it... Sometimes you fire tears that bounce off of enemies and obstacles. This is this is a weird set of trinkets that like just do the thing that items already do because this is just like rubber cement. But only sometimes, and yeah. rubber cement is more fun than good. Yeah, like you so. Know? If you have like um, if you have Jacob's ladder or something, mm-hmm. or cricket's head, or brimstone, or uh, cricket's body rather, or brimstone. Like, there's stuff that will make this kind of fun, but it's like it. It's the sometimes that kills it because. Uh, Super Bowl is never that powerful. It's yeah. just cool. Yeah. Or not Super Bowl, uh, uh, Rubber Cement. Yeah. It's just cool. Just having it, you know, fire one out of every four tiers just isn't enough. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah. Uh, it did remind me how fun it was to have a Super Bowl as a kid. Oh my God, Gary. Uh, yeah. I, I want Before we get off the item completely, I do want to say I do love the art on this thing. Very, very yeah. appealing art. It's very appealing, and it looks like the thing it is, which has been a real struggle for for yeah. Edmund recently uh, in the trinket department. Okay, but yeah, Super Bowl, like an actual real world Super Bowl, amazing. Just running through you... like a, an abandoned airport in Germany, bouncing a Super Bowl as high as you can till it goes behind the ticket counter, like we've all done. Mm-hmm. I bet you, if you parked me in front of a garage door with a Super Bowl, and I just had to sit cross like it and bounce it back against the the wall and then towards me, uh-huh. I would still have a good time with it. Like I could kill like a half hour that way. I mean, Gary, let, I, I I think until you missed it and yes, you had to, and get, you had to up get up Ugh. and chase yeah. after it and then come sit back down by that boy. By that point, your shoulder hurts. Well, and it goes into traffic. Yeah. Uh, you know, and a car hits and goes bang and flies off the highway. And then the car veers into a semi truck. Yeah. John Connor's then, driving the semi truck. Terminators Spanish. burst out of the inside of the truck because they were yeah. like hiding from John Connor because yep. they're scared of him because they're pussies. And then you get a flattened Super Bowl, like a flattened penny, and that's no fun. It still bounces, but yeah. You know, and your neighborhood's lousy with Terminators. Yeah, and that brings down the property values real quick because people are racist against Terminators. I know. There's that one guy who put the graffiti that was like Terminator's rule to try to blame Terminators, mm-hmm. but it was actually just an old white guy who did it. Yeah. It racist against them. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a racist graffiti false flag from just this little yep. bit of Super Bowl fun, and it's not worth it. I really want to, now I want to get into graffiti just to write Terminator's rule on stuff. Yeah. That's good graffiti. If I saw that in real life, I'd be really happy. Yeah. I mean, Gary, you, be the change, man. You can do that. Spray paint's not you, expensive. Do you got a best graffiti you've ever seen? Uh, no, I don't care for, uh, graffiti. I, I prefer, uh, legal art. Okay. Yeah. Not me. I, I, I want the graffiti, uh, especially in bathrooms. I think that if it's a bathroom, you should be able to write in it. I like a nice like mural on the side of a police station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just showing all the cops helping everybody. Yeah. Like, uh, helping people across the street and then like citizens saluting them while crying and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, saluting with one hand and you know what with the other. <laughs> yes. That would be really, if you, I would love to make a mural on the side of a police station, have it end that way Uh huh. and just get all kinds of like, keep it up. Have it end? Uh, well, I, I draw, I, uh, create the mural from the top down. So it starts with a salute and all the, the cops leave and they see that. And okay. then I start doing the rest of it. And then they're like, okay. Whoa, there cowboy, you know? Sorry. I got very amused. I like thinking about the end of a mural. Yeah. Oh yeah. A mural with a happy ending. Mm. That's what this mural would be. Yeah. Yeah. I like a happy beginning. What's your favorite graffiti you've ever seen, Gary? I'm trying to be a better listener. I appreciate that. Uh, it's not, it, I don't have anyone anymore because I found out the one that I had seen was a joke that oh. they stole from somebody. But before I knew it was a Dimitri Martin bit, I saw someone. A Toy graffiti. Story 2 is okay. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, and I like that a lot as a graffiti. And then I found out it was Dimitri Martin. And I was like, well, this sucks. <laughs> don't like that little nerd very much. Oh, you um, don't like when he gets on his little, uh, his little easel. No, he's, he's not. He's, I don't like that guy. He's, I don't think he's very funny. Does, like uh, does Mitch Hedberg Hedberg's. jokes, but on an easel. Yeah. I don't, I don't really care for that. I'm not even that big of a Mitch Hed- Hedberg guy, but I don't like diet Mitch Hedberg at all. Oh man. Mitch um, is so good. Well, not now. Now yeah, he's, he's just kind of like diet Stephen Wright. I think he's yeah. better than Stephen Wright. Wow. Yeah. Let's litigate that over the course of the next two weeks. Yeah. I mean, I've only seen one of them live, so. <laughs> oh. Um, if people like the show, what should they do? Gary, they can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and contribute some money to the network. Uh, you get access mm-hmm. to the Slack, which I don't recommend. Uh, and uh, But you also get the shows early. And access to Dennis. And, uh, yeah, so you, you get a place personal to stay. access to Dennis. Yeah, you can sleep in his garage. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, you can also leave us a rating review, uh, which you need to do. I'm going to get out ahead of it. Uh, we need to have them filled up. And if we don't have more by the time we record the second week, the recording today, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, we're going to get really mad. Uh, like, yeah. uh, you could be like this one left on a uh, podcast addict by Army Dillo. Everything to Trekkie Army is a Dildo. show. Where, what, what the fuck? Gary, did you just interrupt my fucking review? Was that guy's name Army Ild- Dildo? Ar- Arma Dillo. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's well, spelled a little funny. It's spelled D Y L L O, but it's just an animal, Gary. Well, I heard Army Make Dildo, it so I had to. It's easy for me to not be mad at you. Go on. <sighs> Gary, are we okay? Read your thing. <laughs> Do you want me to be mad? Read your thing. Everything. <laughs> read, your little, read your little play. <laughs> everything to trekkie is a show where Worf hughes and gary laba review every episode of star trek the next generation the best onboarding episode is their coverage of season one episode when the switch bricks where a bit part actor from the golden girls squeak squeaks the children of the starship enterprise five stars thank you very much i meant to look up whether that was like a specific reference to a tng episode i don't think it is but it could be i can see the golden girls thing being because we don't bring up golden girls we I do can, occasionally, assume... you know, we talk about uh, Betty White. We talk about Rue McClanahan. We talk Blanche. about Estelle Getty. We talk about uh, B. Arthur. I, I don't. I talk about B. Arthur every once in a while, but that's basically it. You don't talk about Betty care White? For those golden girls. She's American yeah, treasure. I don't care for those golden girls very much. So, what Do you think that's uh, uh, misogyny or ageism on your part? Uh, disliking sitcoms. I, so it's just, it's just the format. That's totally fair. Gary, uh, yeah. I'm glad that we're having such a friendly, non-hostile energy this week. I'm really sorry that I yelled at you. I'm sorry that I yelled at you as well. Uh, and I, I, I'm glad that we're moving at a quick speed so I don't have to do like a quite five on, or tight five on what an army dildo would be because that phrase really did capture my imagination. And I was glad that oh, I misheard it. An army dildo. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. It'd probably, be, it'd probably be camouflaged. Exactly. Like pussy colored so you couldn't see it when it was in there. Good night. <laughs>